Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with a video about the fastest possible 1000 gamer score that you can get. This game is also available on PlayStation but does not offer a platinum trophy. This game will take you a total of 60 seconds as shown on this video. I did put it up on my SSD to make the load times a little bit faster. If you don't have an SSD, this might take you just a little bit longer, maybe two or three minutes. Now, this actually doesn't happen in a new game. Instead, it happens in a 2017 release called Rememoried. But recently, someone found out that you could skip the chapters and still unlock all the achievements. I read about it first on trueachievements.com, and I'll leave a link to their article down below. Additionally, in the description, I'll leave a link to buy this game. Right now, it's $14.99, but it does go on sale quite often, so you can check it out. It has gone down to as little as only $3. Now here, I'm going to open up my little dashboard menu. You can see that it is 6.30 local time when I film this, and I have 0 out of 10, 0 out of 1,000. And as soon as I start the game, we're going to start skipping the levels. In order to skip the levels, all you want to do is hold right on the D-pad and tap LB. Just keep holding right on the D-pad and keep tapping LB. Every time you do this, it should skip forward one level. If you do it very quickly, you won't even see the levels loading up. You'll just go from flash of white to flash of white. And every time it flashes, that means it started a new level. And then when it flashes to black, it means you've skipped that level. The faster you're able to do this, the faster the achievements unlock. You'll actually be able to completely beat the game and still have most of the achievements unlocking on screen trying to catch up to you. There is a little bit of a risk that if you are too fast, they might glitch out, but I haven't personally seen that happen in any of the testing I've done. That's because although the achievements are queued up and waiting on each other, they're all actually unlocking individually, and most glitches happen when multiple achievements are unlocked by the same action. I decided to go for a little bit of a speed run to see how fast I could really get it done. And from the very first achievement pop to when I'm actually done touching my controller, I am done in literally 54 seconds flat. However, it does take another 50 seconds or so for all of the achievements to kind of show up on screen as individual unlocks. But if you go to your actual dashboard and look at your achievements, they should all be sitting there and completed for your 1000 gamer score. Again, $14.99 is a little bit steep, but if you can find this game at 80% off for $3, it isn't too bad in terms of getting some cheap and easy gamer score. Nonetheless, I wanted to show you guys this. You can read about it in depth in the True Achievements article if you so desire. And feel free to do this or not to do this. Leave your opinions in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like on the video. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Shout out to Double O, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.